like a giant filterization for our um, oceans. It's also the spawning ground for our fish. Um, it gives them a, a place to hide as they're young. A lot of our fish will live here throughout their whole life. Um, some of our fish, once they get large enough, do leave the reef. Now, unfortunately, we, um, since not, well, 1992, there's no more uh, fishing allowed on this reef. You cannot anchor a boat. There are 32 mooring walls out here, um, which you must hook up to. It's first come, first serve. You can't touch and you certainly can't take anything. So, since 1992, um, we haven't seen damage to this reef like we previously had. They came out here, cleaned up all the fishing line out here, any, any garbage. Uh, they cleaned it up quite nicely. Um, and we're not destroying the reefs like we previously had been. So, uh, again, without these reefs, we're not going to have these clear, perfect waters. And that's why we have these clear, perfect waters down here in the Keys, because we have the, the um, ice filterization right here with us. Just like if you have a pool or a hot tub, you have to have some filterization. Don't worry, folks, these bubbles will clear momentarily. Just shifting us around a little bit up there. And again,